good morning everyone uh, this is asan raju and the today's class will be dealing with respect to the characteristics of waiting lines management which will be utilizing for finding the best solution or the optimal solution among the existing solutions we all aware of that n number of solutions will be existing for different kinds of problems upon solvation will be having different root maps but as per the time flexibility has been utilized the solution obtained within the less timings prefers the optimal characteristics so indeed to get on that we are having a specified characteristics how the time will be getting saved quantity will be getting maintained preference ratio will be getting formulated and qualitative products will be obtained either if you have been considered in the case of this production units or any of the manufacturing units coming to the strategy of this waiting line characteristics nothing but queuing process will be calling otherwise this queuing process have different schedules and need to commence the multiple tasks simultaneously or else in a sequence format or parallel format of processing also coming to the characteristics first one it is limited or unlimited queuing length so you cannot specify that in the case of unlimited that within the particular time period will be completing the entire task in such a way you cannot give any of the assurance for the task performance in the case of this limited queue length will be having a particular estimation of the time period how far the work has been commenced or else how in the how much time period or how much time variations will be completing the upcoming task can be analyzed in this kind of models coming to the second characteristic that is queuing discipline so we all aware of that discipline nothing but formative analysis or else preference ratio should be followed here first in first out it is the most primitive most or will be calling it is a general technique that is being utilized for commencement of this queuing characteristic so discipline in the sense nothing but which is it ought to activate the module nothing but commencement of the activity to be in a perfect way coming to the third characteristic that other priority rules may be used in special circumstances so other priority of the rules as we have been discussed earlier that multiple tasks need to be performed simultaneously in the manufacturing units for that different n number of rules may be existing and indeed to commence that whether we need to follow a fifo activity or else for that is nothing but a discipline strategy other than the discipline strategy what else the parallel flow or else the series axis or else the multiplanary parallel operational schedules need to be framed out or not these and all are some of the circumstances will be coming under this third characteristics so in d2 channel out those strategies some of the service characteristics support with respect to the major characteristics to be commenced looking after this service characteristics first one it is queuing system designs first one it is single channel system multiple channel system so single channel system in the sense nothing but 
the sequence of operations will be followed that is nothing but we are having only the one die characteristic that will give the impregnations or else outputs of same dimensional accuracies after performing the entire process for example we have been considering this blow molding coming to the second one that is single phase system and multi phase system here in the single phase system entire the channel will be progressed in the simultaneous manner that is step by step manufacturing process so first one it is milling process after commencing the milling process on the work part in the same channel it will be moving on to the milling after milling drilling activity after drilling the reaming activity entire until and unless the entire finishing work level has been reached simultaneously the multiple phase system in the second point of this keying system designs so there is one in the multiple phase of systems so simultaneously almost all the different tasks are being performed on the different systems existing in the working unit nothing but for example uh, simultaneous operations performance nothing but uh, the multiple operations can be performed by the same machinery as milling drilling and boring activity and the finishing activity will be getting done on that particular machine so it indicates that almost all the processes can be done simultaneously and by this we will be achieving the high quantity of the products manufacturing with respect to the perfect quality to measures maintaining coming to the service time distribution the constant service time nothing but in if in the case of automatical system performance the constant service time need to be approached because almost all the conveyor belt will be moving on with respect to the work part that is being entering for the work and next the finished products will be resting out after completing the entire process from the machinery next thing it is a random service times usually a negative exponential distribution actually in the previous class we had a discussion regarding the poisson's ratio or poisson's distribution that there is no profit and no gain or else a minimal profit gaining activity that are being progressed in the case so hence the fixed timings will be preferred in the case of this automatic monitoring systems that is work part will be entering into the uh, machinery first the service uh, will be getting progressed nothing but if there is any drilling work the drilling work will be getting commenced after that if at all the reaming work or threading activity is necessary simultaneously it will be progressing within a stipulated time period and hence the similar constituent of objects will be packed and sent to the packaged devices coming to the second category that is random services times usually there's a negative exponential distribution that is regarding the negative poisson ratio which will be taking much more highest time periods for its uh, n number of processes so here the processes refer to milling drilling reaming boring and the finishing activity you know, threading activity knurling activity what's the right matter that is process and the machinery units has been considered i'm looking forward coming to the queuing system designs here we are having a different family this <coughs> dentist office we have been considering this queuing system designs family dentist office so in day to approach with the dentist will be following a single channel or single phase system so one by one that is nothing but the interaction will be getting progressed only between the patient and the doctor so here the doctor will be asking the questions related to the 
impact of that particular illness caused in the person or a patient. A patient will narrate his symptoms to the doctor and related to that, he will be diagnosed and doctor will diagnose the entire characteristic. So this is nothing but the arrival here, the diagrammatically, it is clear cutly initiating that the patients will be in queue and hence the service facility, the service will be providing by the doctor, nothing but the treatment process is being given by the doctor and later on the departures, the services. Considering in the case of the single phase system, the work part is being arriving and only one process will be getting done here. Either it may be of the milling process or the drilling process or the cleaning process. Whatsoever it may be the process it is, the process will be coming and later on, after completing the work part will be getting obtained out. Simultaneously, considering the next system. So, second system, which will be exercising with respect to N, multiple phases of work. So here, diagrammatically clearly specifies that the work parts are being entering phase one service facility. So phase one service facility in the sense first one milling activity will be performed. Later on, the similar material is moving on to the second machinery. And in the second machinery, the drilling activity or the drilling activity will be performed. And later on, will be departures for the after service. So if at all, this phase number three also can be added. Phase number three can be added, phase number four can be added. And related to the phases, the service limitations will be getting increased. So depending upon the n number of processes that are required, indeed to transfer the raw material stage of work part to the finished level of goods, n number of the phases can be progressed depending upon the system designs. So here, and then we'll be considering one of the examples here, a banking system or else the post office services system. And, and the arrival part, there was a large number of queue that is being entering into the different uh, service channels. So some of the members may be required indeed to deposit the amount or the withdrawal of the amount in the case of this banking sector. Or else in the second consideration, changing the names or mobile numbers or the address change will be moving on to another counter. And third one, it is for the loan appraisal. There is something about seeking the loan, gold loans, or the personal loan sector probably be coming to the third category. Let us consider three different channels. The first one is an amount depositing or the related volume. Second one is an loan process. Third one it is an name changes or any updations that are being required in the case of our accounts. So for each and every one, different channels will be maintained, channel number one, channel number two, and channel number three. So hence the queuing process, depending upon the type of the service required for the customers, the channels will be divided. So hence, simultaneously, multiple ways of tasks are being performed with different channels and hence these channels also can be increased furtherly. That moves on after completing the prescribed work, they will be departuring. So this is one of the most examples that are widely happening in the, in the present situations or else in our live categorizations. Moving on to the another one more example. We have been considering some of the college registration college registrations as per our uh, the admission phases. Let us consider our admissions that we will be progressing presently. There will be a multiple channel or multiple phases of systems that are being worked out. So the registrations that need to be done from the customers after completing hence the team process is required here. And the registration in the sense, in the case of admissions also we can be progress or also in the case of this our Payment processes or the JNTC, admission confirmation JNTC process. So, <laughs> considering that category, there will be an a queue for the paying or fee. So, here there will be two different categories. If it all uh, it is need to be paid only to the accounts officer, it is a big task that be, that will be commencing. And hence, it is being uh, diverted to the N number of departments. And hence, uh, this queuing will be channelize it to some extent. So here channelizing refers to tuition fee amount or else next one it is an 
same channel can be based in another category also. Nothing but same fee can be paid within the department or else to the account officer. So wherever it is free, you can pay there. So here the time flexibility will be taking place by the users. And hence, after completing this phase one, it will be passed on to the phase number two. And finally, this channel one to phase number two. If at all it is being free with respect to phase one, it will be uh, when phase two is being done, it's a previous activity, it will be bypassed to the phase number two, it then cross alignment for the quick commencement of the activity. If there is only work progressing in the phase one of channel two, phase two of channel one will seek the records from the phase one channel one to complete its activity when phase two channel one is in already is in a particular work. Simultaneously, vice versa. If phase two channel two is being taking place in an halting mode or else in the case of heavy work commencement, if phase one channel one work has been serviced by this phase two channel two, then automatically the queuing process will be cut off here and will the data will be transferred from the phase one channel two to the phase two channel one. And hence, simultaneously, the work will be getting progress. So in this way, the multiple channels, whenever the phase level, the next phase levels, indeed to commence the channel activities or, or free, it will be accepting the system from the phase one and commence the activities from only to the phase two. So this is one of the examples. So we have been discussed with respect to negative exponential distribution. So here we are categorizing the characteristics here. And the x-axis, we have been taken the time period in the hours basis system. And the probability that service timing, service timing, which is greater than one minute. So here our infinity is zero and one, two, three, and greater than one. Is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or beyond, beyond the 1, or equal to 1. So considering the ratio or probability of the service time within the 10, within the 10, so what are the different hours that are being, or time period that is being categorized, indeed to characterize the different works. So for commencementing of the works, to the customer, he utilizes a number of service units, and that service units having the probability of commencing that particular activity within the one. Hence, it clearly specifies the probability that service at times greater than t is equal to e to the power of minus mu t4, which the t is greater than or equal to one, where the mu is average service state which will be gradual decrement when it is being increased with respect to the time factor. The probability ratio will be getting decreased from one to the zero ratio level and the time period has been increasing furtherly or gradually it is being increasing in the case of time orientation. So this is a graphical presentation that which will clearly specify the negative exponential distribution. So here, the secondary constraint, that is finding out the average service rates. So if number of customers has been increased furtherly, the probability ratio also will be increased. And hence, upon on an average, we have been considered average service timing is equal to 20 minutes per customer, 20 minutes per customer. But the probability of the service times will be getting altered with respect to the customers. So, three customers per hour that indicates 60 minutes of time period that averagely will be distributed among these three members. 60 divided by 3, that is 20, 20, 20. So, it relates the characterization that time will be getting split off, cut off. Hence, a long period of uh, 16 minutes of time will not be characterized for uh, three customers. But in the case of single customer, in day to commence only by one channel or one customer point, 
it takes long time to reward for solving the entire work or service required for the customer. And here, in the case of the second ratio, the red flag implication, if the channels have been increased furtherly, the time among the service that is providing to the customer will be splitting or divide with respect to an hourly basis. Nominally, we'll be taking at 20 minutes, that is actually one hour constitutes of 60 minutes and allocating for three different customers of three different channels, minutes the work within 20 minutes. Here, mainly we'll be highlighting some points, that is measuring queuing performance. First one is, is then average time that each customer or object spends in the queue. <clears throat> Second one is an average queue length. Third one is an average time each customer spends in the system. The average number of customers in the system. So the channel we are considering is in the system. The probability that the service facility will be ideal. If there is no any customers existing, obviously the channel need to be stay off in an ideal mode without performing any activity. Because if there is no any customers, no any service required to the customers, they will not be approaching to the channel and hence, ideally, the channel need to be exist without any particular task. Next one, the utilization of the factor for the system, nothing but the resources, capability, capabilities, Next one is then probability of specific number of customers in the system. So specific number of customers, that is, that is nothing but it can be designed or may not be, it may be having the limitation or it may not be a limit number. It may be increased further because the service will be in a tight situation that whoever is necessary beyond the service that we cannot be analyzed in the future aspects. If at all, the estimation has been got out to the 100 members that will be needed in the needy, will be existing in the needy for tomorrow, it may be increased furtherly other than that 100, that is nothing but 110 may be a number, 120 may be a number, or else can be decreased in a strategy also, that is 180 may be a number, or else 90 may be a number. So the hence we are roughly calculating in the case of this probability, right? So these are the some of the performance ratio of the tips or else the characterizations to be followed in need to measure the queuing performance. Next one coming to the queuing cost analyzation of the queuing cost. So diagrammatically, as for the UOQ statilizations. UOQ calculations is clearly specifying that the x axis that is we are taking the service levels, different service levels that is low level, optimal level, high level of services, and the cost has been estimating in the case of this y axis that is minimum cost, maximum cost, vice versa. So the level of the service has been increasing coming to the point of uh, the <coughs> yellow color uh, graphical representation that is cost of providing service total cost that has been expected and green one cost of waiting time that is taken in the form of green channel so as the service is being progressed in the waiting system the economical factor will be very much less as for the diagrammatic or the graphical representations is being shown. So up to the optimal level of the service point, up to maximum optimal service point level, the cost of waiting time will be decreasing gradually. Hence, this red implication that is being shown, the total expected cost, so maximum cost that has been expected will be reached. And beyond that, the satisfaction needs will be achieved by the customers and thoroughly they will not be getting right. So they will be investing some of the amount. So until that expected cost, the task will be getting completed for them and no more time they will be staying over there. So
So the less number of triangles is being order is red going to be total expected cost. Going to the cost of providing service, that is, the cost has been increasing furtherly. The maximum level of the service is being increasing. Going on to the next service point, cost of waiting time, that is, we will be gradually decreasing. Next, moving on to the queuing models. So there are four different kinds of queuing models. Let us assume that first one is on poison distribution variables. Next one, first input, first output discipline. Third one is in a single service space. <coughs> moving to the first characterization, coming to the model number one and model number A. That is single channel system. Taking an example of information counter at the department store. So, what are the groceries that are being existing in the department? Of, and our requirement groceries are being existing or not, that we need to be identified initially. So, for that for that one, number of channels, that is single channel. How many number of phases are being existing in the to get that one? Yes, we are having only a single channel system because the system that has been considered as a single channel system itself. And arrival rate of pattern, there is a poisons ratio that we have been following. And service time pattern, how will be following? So exponential. So if M number of products has been increased, only the single channel, single window, or single phase that is uh, required. And only the single person need to be serviced for the customers n number of customers so if the 10 customers are existing just like as our uh, retail products purchasing in the market you are going to the departmental store there will be having a list of uh, necessary from our mother and we'll be giving that and likewise uh, 10 members will be approaching to that particular shop but only one person is being serviced for the 10 different uh, customers so hence the service time will be maintained in the case of this exponential because 10 by so 1 by 10 members need to be serviced next the population says so we have taken nominally an example of 10 members but it may be unlimited you can say exactly that only 10 members say if another uh, uh, line members and, and another uh, road also another road or another line also if one of the shop has been wind up then those 10 members also may be identified maybe of 10 or 20 or 30 there's an unlimited strategy so hence queuing discipline is being followed that is first in first out simultaneously those who are ba coming back then they have to be wait in a queue nominally until it has been serviced coming to the model number b so same channel that is a multiple channel I think we're taking an uh, example of uh, this airline ticket counter. There is number of channels are required. Nominally, in the airline ticket purchasing, we are having uh, n number of strategies. That is, on first one, it is on n number of uh, uh, flight services that are being existing. That is, first one is in uh, our uh, uh, airways, that is, jet airways, air jet ways, is next one, it is on. Uh, <clears throat> nominally we have been calculating different services that are being provided for an airport journey so for getting the ticket for, for boarding there are n number of services providers like we will be taking general example that is five state service kingfisher service where the service etc of the kingfisher likewise so n number of channels so we are having multiple channels so n number of phases so only for the single person we can choose n number of <clears throat> channels for getting the ticket for the airlines. Next, arrivals is also here. We are following the poison ratio, service time pattern, exponential. That nothing but service person, service person exponential. Population size can be accepted up to the unlimited state is not specified. Queuing discipline that is on first in and first output can be characterized. Moving on to the next model, that is on model number C. There is <clears throat> constant service time time fixation here. Example, we will be considering that for this constant service period, automatic car wash. So number of channels that are being required, we are having only the single channel, service oriented channel, 
for having a single motor and a single pump that are being utilized for resistance of water for entire wash. So number of phases result a single variable in poison and service temperature is then constant because automatically it needs to be characterized. <clears throat> so for each uh, activators, different types of activators, the, it, for its functioning, uh, particularly time will be given fixed. And depending upon that particular time oriented, the overall task will be getting completed. So population size is unlimited and queuing the supplies needs first in first out. <clears throat> Moving on to the next model, that is model number three, that is limited population, that is finite population. So we are being specifying with respect to an population size also, whether it's 10 members or 20 members like that. For example, shop with only a dozen machines that might be. So here we have been having this n number of channels, number of channels in the sense that is a single channel. We are having the single phase of work. There's no any multiple tasks need to be performed here because it is having a limited population and there only a dozen missions that are being worked that might be in a breaking conditions. So arrival rate of cattle, we are taking in poison ratio format, service time is an exponential and population size here has been characterized as an limited given discipline is being followed. It's first in and faster out characterizations. So, for this first in and first out characterizations in the case of this model number one, when we have been identified with respect to a single channel, this the people activity as first in first out phases, every arrival will be wait to be serviced regardless of the length of the queue. Because they doesn't bother about the length of the queue, whoever enters into the queue first will be moving on to the first out by completing the task. So these arrivals are independent of the proceedings. Arrivals must average number of the arrivals that does not change over the time. Hence, moving on to the arrivals, <coughs> or uh, are described with a poison probability distribution and come from an infinite population. So you cannot specify the population size that are being living or updating the uh, for each and every minute or each and every second. So for among them, any one of the person may be arrived to the service oriented channel by the single channel. Next point then service times vary from one customer to the next customer because because you cannot specify that this customer need or, or all the services. For example, if we have gone to the departmental store, he may require only 10 to 15 different goods. So another one more person may require 20 to 25 goods. Another one more person may require only five products. So likewise, you cannot estimate the service time. And hence, the next point is and service time occurs according to the negative exponential distribution. So it's an open fact that can be accepted. The service rate is faster than the arrival rate because he is being servicing, he is being known, well known that service person can be well known that wherever the task or else wherever that particular products are being placed. And hence, it is very much easy for him to calculate. So, for this calculation, we are having considering the model number one, the average time of okay, unit spends in the system can be analyzed with respect to the WES work that is being done by a single channel counter is being specified with respect to one by mu minus lambda, where the mu is the main number of units serviced per time period. The lambda is the mean number of arrivals per time period. And hence, the single channel, that is a model of the average number of units per customer in the system are being waiting and bearing serve. That is lambda by mu minus lambda. That is mean number of arrivals period time period by mean number of units served per time period minus the mean number of arrivals per time period. That's the case of the model number A. Hence, LQ is an average number of units waiting in the queuing process is equated with lambda squared by mu of mu minus lambda. Work to be done that is an average time as a unit spends waiting in a queue. That is lambda of 
lambda by mu of mu minus lambda p is the utilization factor for a system that's mu by sorry lambda by mu so then in the case of this single channel we know that the probability of the zero units in the system that the service unit is being existing in an ideal mode that is without any customers the channel is being waiting in an ideal mode so p of n greater than k that is probability of more than k units in the system where n is the number of units in the system that is given or identified with lambda by mu of k plus one on an exponential basis so you are considering the example of a single channel system as the phase terminology has been taken and its calculations as follows considering lambda is two cars arriving per hour mu three cars service per hour so arriving is two cars mu is three cars serviced so hence we are calculating the average characterizations that is l s l q that is average number of units waiting in the so how many waiting in the queue that is with respect to n consideration l s that is lambda by mu minus lambda that is 2 by 3 minus 2 and hence 2 by 1 it is on two cars in the system on average so service orientedly are having only two cars the work performance meaning the work performance 1 by mu minus lambda that is 1 by 3 minus 2 is 1 hour average time in the system upon orientation work timing is on for each and every card is being taken for one hour and hence the waiting should be for another backseat card than one hour if at all that third card is being around he has to be wait for two hours in the mean period so hence l q present lambda square by mu of mu minus lambda to square of three of three minus two to one point two cards and then waiting line is being existing in queuing process and w of work done lambda of mu minus mu minus lambda that is 2 by 3 of 3 minus 2 that is 2 by 3 hours that is at 40 minutes average waiting time is required and hence the ideal mode that of the probability is lambda by mu this 2 by 3 is 66.66 percent of the mechanics is busy in the case of working model characterizations next one how much time ideally the machinery or being exists that is one minus lambda by mu that is 0 0.33 percent is that is 100 percent minus 66.66 percent is that is the probability of working timings and waiting times is then zero. one minus 66.66 that is zero point oh sorry zero point three three zero percent the system so this is the condition that are being existing and we considering the schematical structure with respect to an total representation we are having the mean variations not equal to the poisons that when waiting with a null period or ideal period that is 1 minus 3 is 0 0.67 so this is the conditional strategies that are being followed in the case of this single channel example when considering an exponential system right we'll be discussing the next channel economics in the next <clears throat> class thank you